Hi, I'm Jennifer with Resilient Life Therapy. I heard a lot of great stuff to help your life go better. I want to talk with you today about one of the biggest mistakes that I see people making when they are thinking about personal growth or change. And it is this, that often people think they equate personal growth with becoming something they think they should become rather than thinking about personal growth as becoming more consistent with who they are. And all of those shoulds usually come from ancient days when we were young and we got a lot of messages about what we should be doing and the ways that what we were doing was not okay. So I want to use introverts as an example. This isn't only for introverts, but I think it makes a great example because I think introverts get a lot of messages from the world around them that they are not okay and that they should be something other than what they are. And so when that happens, what an introvert can do, and I often see that is the case, is there's, there's an equation of personal growth means that I should be pushing myself to not be an introvert, that I should be pushing myself to get out there like all the extroverts and interact in the world that the way that all those extroverts interact, because that's what I should be doing. I should have 10 million friends. I should be wanting to go to the party. I should enjoy loud spaces. <laughs> in the meeting, I should be able to answer questions, bam, 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 like that, instead of doing my own internal sort of deep thinking with something, right? So look, when we do that, when we try to become something we're not, personal growth becomes a really like dismal experience. It is fraught with anxiety and distress and discomfort and constantly feeling like I'm not competent and I'm a failure. What's wrong with me? Personal growth in its best iteration is about leaning into who you actually are. And so if you're an introvert, it's about becoming really comfortable with being an introvert. And, and personal growth, the ways that you would push yourself, become consistent with how do I grow in that area consistent with being an introvert. And it's about honoring who you are and seeing the good pieces of that and trying to expand those. So here's the thing, personal growth, if you're doing it in this way that's consistent with who you are, as you start to grow, it should feel so organic. It should feel easy. It should feel like it fits. Not that personal growth, right? It's not that we're like not working at it or like I'm, no, I'm pushing myself to expand a little bit, but it shouldn't feel fraught. And it shouldn't make you feel like incredibly anxious and uncomfortable in your own skin. It's all about becoming more comfortable with the skin that you're in and recognizing and realizing that you're not broken. You're not broken. And it's having to sort of, you know, have a relationship with all those old messages, all the old shoulds, and understand they were probably well-meaning, but that you can, you can shed them can shed them and you can lean into and you can embrace leaning into who you are. All right, I hope that this is helpful. If it is, you know, what to do, give this video a like and make sure you subscribe. I'd really love to have you be a part of my community. Um, it'll also, when you subscribe, ring the bell so you make sure you get the new videos when they come out, usually every week. Um, and also share it. If it was helpful to you, it will definitely be helpful to somebody else. All right, if you want to know more about me, you can find the link to my website in the description of this video down below, and that is resilientlifetherapy.com. All right, let me 
tuning into who you are, personal growth. It should feel organic and it should feel like you're blossoming. Bye guys.